Who will do, tiddly peeps? I'm Hubba Hubba, talking to you from Hoobland, and I'm about to send four of my favorite tubes down to Earth to find out all about you for my great Hoobapedia. Here they come! You know who the hoops are? Ivor, Groove, and Tula! We're hoops! And they're ready to go. Well, hey! Now the wheels are turning, we cannot get learning all the things we want to know. Hey! Hubba Hubba's in Hoobland, and Roma's somewhere far away. The motorettes are singing, we keep the engine spinning. Hoop Hoop Hooray! The Hoobapil is coming your way. Oh, here we come. Uh, well, hey. Oh. The Hoobs are here, so yes. what do you say? Hoobs. Help, help. It's a giant. Just a one bang sandwich for me, please, Groove. Mm -hmm. It's a great big giant. Groove, did you just hear what? I just heard. What, Tula shouting, It's a great big giant! Yes. What do you think it means? Um, Tula seen a great big giant? Hoobie Galoobie! Ah! Tula seen a giant! He might step on the Hoobabeel and squash it as flat as a Hoobarama! We've got to get up there. Have we? I mean, we have. <laughs> Hang on, Tula, we're on our way! Yeah, never fear! Ivor's here! <laughs> Come on, what? you! Oh, giant, giant, giant! Wait for me! He's big! He's hairy! And he's heading this way! Bang! 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 <laughs> oh, Hoobadoop, Ivor! Hoobadoop, Groove! Where's the giant? The great big giant? Yeah. Heading this way? Yeah. Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> Oh, that! Yeah. I was reading this Tiddly Peep story. It's all about a giant. A story? Yes! Tiddly Peep stories are full of giants and princesses and beanstalks. And we thought there was a real giant up here. Oh, well, actually, I didn't think there was a real giant. <laughs> oh, yes, you did, Groove. Yeah. Well, we both did. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can see how Groove might fight a giant with a hooby sandwich hammer, but, um... What were you going to do with a cheese sandwich, Ivor? Hmm? Oh, I don't know. I... Oh, dear. I've quite lost my appetite. Oh, never fear. Groovy's here. <laughs> you know, I really would love to write one of these Tiddly Peep stories. But how? I know exactly how. You do? Of course. Follow me. <laughs> and no more giants, please. Oh. Right then. First, you get a piece of paper. Okay. And then? Then you get a pen. Oh. Ooh. And then? You write the story. Easy as hooby pie. Uh, but how do I think of all the things to put in it? Who's the story about? Mm. Oh, Ivor, um. we need your help. Oh. How can Tula write a story? Mm. How can Tula write a story? An absolutely perfect question for Hoob News. Yeah. It'll make a very entertaining section in my giant Hoobopedia. Now, I'll email Roma straight away. Uh, I want my story to be just as good as the ones in my Tiddly Peep book, Hubba Hubba. In that case, let's start by looking at some famous Tiddly Peep stories. They have so many different characters. This one is Sleeping Beauty. It's about a girl who went to sleep and was woken by a kiss. This one's called Hansel and Gretel. That's Jack and the Beanstalk. There's Snow White. The Frog Prince, Little Red Riding Hood in her red cape, and that's Pinocchio, the little wooden boy. And there's the very tiny Thumbelina. Ah. Oh, 
Gloopy Gloopy, did you see all those amazing characters? They are perfect for my story. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a sleeping princess mm. and a girl with a red cape mm. and uh, a little wooden boy mm. and a really tiny girl. Can, can, can I just say something here? Uh, and a frog. <laughs> Whatever. Well, those characters are already in stories. Wouldn't it be better to think of a character of your own? Oh. Oh, I suppose so. But how could I do that? Ah, oh, don't worry, Tula. We'll help. You could write a lovely tale about a tiddly peep called Jack. Or a magic mouse. Yes, that's what I'd suggest. A beautiful princess with hair right down her back. I think a fairy queen would be the best. A story's not a story with nobody in it. So until you know who's in it, you can't even begin it. Now I have to work out who I'm writing about. And then I can get on with all the rest. You could write about a rabbit with sticky out key. A bluebird or a bleating mountain goat. Ba, ba. A hairy little caterpillar crawling on a leaf. The fairy queen's the one who gets my vote. Oh, yes. Now, listen here. She's having an idea. Yes, my head is, is all in a whirl. Who is it to be? Do tell us, Tula. Could it be me? No, I'm going to write about a little girl. She's called Rosie. Rosie? Yes, Rosie. Rosie with the ribbon that's tied in a bow. Oh, Rosie. She's the one for me. I'm ready to begin it. Now I know who's going in it. I'll pick up my pen. And off I'll go. Once upon a time. Well, that's sorted then. Cheese sandwich, Ivor? Oh, no, thank you, Groove. I don't feel like eating yet. Oh, well. Still getting over that giant. Listen! Listen! Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Rosie who had long golden hair with a big red ribbon in it. She lived... She lived... Where? 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 I don't know where. Where would a girl called Rosie with long golden hair and a big red ribbon live? Um, oh, in a great big shop where they sell cheese sandwiches. All day long she hammered away at the cheese sandwiches. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 No, no, no more banging, please, Groove. Anyway, Rosie's a tiddly peep, not a hoop. Tiddly peeps don't hammer their sandwiches, do they? How's the story coming along? It's off to a hoobacious start, Hubba Hubba. Tula's got a character called Rosie. But I can't decide where she lives. Sounds to me like you should ask the Tiddly Beeps to help. There, that's what you should do, Tula. Uh, you drive, Groove. Um, I'm still getting over the giant. <laughs> Aww. Come on, Groove. Yep. Seatbelt Groove? Yep. We're, We're off to, to see, see the Tiddly, tiddly Peeps. peeps. The smart. That's what they know. The tiddly peeps, the tiddly peeps. If we need to know who, what, where, why, when, and how, alas, I'm off we go. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. On the road we go. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. The smart, they're fun, they know. Who will do tiddly peeps? Who will do Tula? Oh, what are you drawing? I'm drawing some mountains. Oh, and what's this one? This is a village. I'm writing a story, and it's all about a little girl called Rosie with long golden hair and a big red ribbon. But I don't really know where she ought to live. She could live on a mountain. Oh, that's a good idea. Or she could live in the village. What, what do, you do you think, think Ivan Groove? 
Mountain. Mountain. Yeah. Mountain. Yeah. Oh, I don't know which one's best. Well, what if she lived in a village by a mountain? Of course. In a village by a mountain. That's exactly where she should live. Yeah. Can I take these pictures with me? Of course. Who built Toodle Do? Who built Toodle Do? Well, I still say I like the village. And I like the mountain. Well, I like them both. <laughs> <laughs> right, where was I? Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Rosie who had long golden hair with a big red ribbon on it. <laughs> she lived in a village right next to a mountain. Wow, Tula, that's mm. beginning to sound like a real story. One day... Oh, good, good. Who be groovy? <laughs> she... 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 Bought herself another ribbon? Sat on a chair. Ate a cheese sandwich. No, 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 no! None of those things sounds like a story. Something needs to happen. But what? What, what, what? What? I don't know what. The cheese sandwich idea is pretty hooby groovy, <laughs> though I say so myself. Roma. Oh, it's Roma. <laughs> if anyone knows, Roma will. Who will do poops? Who will do Roma? No hoops. When Hubba Hubba emailed me to tell me you were finding out all about stories today, I decided to make up my own. Oh, who be groovy, Roma? What's it all about? Once upon a time, there was a beautiful hoob called Roma. Oh. <laughs> One day, she was standing in a forest surrounded by trees. Big trees. Small trees. Small trees. Medium-sized trees. Medium trees. Teeny weeny trees. It's not very interesting, this story, is it? Shh! Wait a minute. What's that noise? I can hear a rustling. I think I'd better stop and find out what it is. Oh, no! What? I just saw a furry tail. It must be a bear! Oh, no! There's a big grizzly bear in the forest! Oh, no! Just a minute. It wasn't a big grizzly bear at all. Mm -hmm. It was a cute little squirrel. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, Hoobs, but you have to admit it was rather exciting. In fact, I think I'll add it to my story. Good idea, Roma. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful Hoob called Roma. <laughs> One day, she was standing in a forest surrounded by trees. Trees, yeah. All of a sudden, she heard a noise. Ooh. Don't worry, Hoobs. It is only a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! This time, it really is a bear. Oh, dear. Oh, this is Roma Hoobs signing off very quickly. <laughs> Hoobble doodle do! <laughs> What a hooby groovy report. <laughs> Roma was just standing in a forest, minding her own business, when something really exciting happened. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, back to trying to do something with this story. But don't you see? That's what you should be doing with the story. Something really exciting should happen. <gasps> You're right, Ivor. Something really, really exciting. A really, really exciting thing. Yeah, really, really exciting. Yes. Like what? What, what, what? What? I don't know what. Hubba, mm. Hubba. Oh, maybe Hubba, Hubba does. I can't wait to read this story, Tula. I'm a bit stuck, Hubba, Hubba. How do you think of something exciting? Um, oh, why don't you ask the Tiddly Peeps? They're bound to be able to think of some exciting things. Of course. Are you coming, Ivor? No, I'm still a bit wobbly from the giant. <laughs> oh, come on then, Groove. Yeah, let's get those motorettes singing. <laughs> We're off to see the tiddly beats. On the road we go. We're off to see the tiddly beats. The smart. That's what they know. The tiddly beats, the tiddly beats. Tiddly peeps. Who will do Tula? Wow, these 
pictures are hoobly groobly. They're supposed to be clouds. They look just like them. Can you see these Ivor and Groove? Yeah. Oh, they're, they're hoobacious. Hooby groovy. Hey, this one looks like a chair. A chair? And that one looks like a frying pan. A frying pan? But I thought you said they were clouds. Surely a cloud is a cloud. Not if you use your imagination. Oh. How do I do that? On a nice day, just look up into the sky at real clouds and imagine they look like all sorts of things. Look at these ones and use your imagination to see if they remind you of anything else. Oh, is that all I have to do? Um, OK. Well, that one looks like a... hooby galooby That one looks like a monster! <laughs> it does look like a monster. Well done, Tula. That's it! A monster! Can I take these back with me? Of course! Oh, thanks for helping me use my imagination, Tiddly Peeps. Hoobble Toodle Do! Hoobble Toodle Do! <laughs> I have to say, I think that cloud looked more like a cheese sandwich. <laughs> Don't be silly, Groove. Now I have started using my imagination. I just can't stop! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hoobie Galooby! I've never seen anyone write as fast as that! <laughs> Sorry to rush you, Tula, but time is moving on. Uh, yes, I know, Hubba Hubba. The story is just about... finished! Good, that's Hoobble Doobble Dooper, but I really need it now. Well, I'll fax it through to you. It'll be there in no time. Uh, yes, but when? When, 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 when? 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 When I've got it, and I've got a tiddly peep to read it for you. Oh, now, Hoobs, are you sitting comfortably? Oh, just a minute, I just need to. Um, <coughs> yes, yes, then Tula's story will begin. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Rosie. She had long golden hair with a big red ribbon in it. She lived in a village right next to a mountain. Now on the mountain, there lived a hairy, scary monster. The villagers would often hear him roar. Oh, <laughs> One morning, Rosie found that her big red ribbon had gone and there were great big monster footprints leading out of the village. That hairy, scary monster has taken my hair ribbon. The villagers all shouted, You don't want to go near that hairy, scary monster. He'll roar at you! But Rosie bravely set off. At last, she came to a cave. And there was the hairy, scary monster. You're wearing my big red ribbon! Oh, I'm sorry. I really needed it. You see, I am so hairy that I couldn't see where I was going. That made me cross, and when I'm cross, I roar. Yeah. Then people think I'm scary. I don't want to be hairy or scary. Ah, I'm going to make sure you're not hairy or scary anymore. <laughs> so she gave the monster a very smart haircut. Hooray! Oh, Tula, that was hoobacious. Oh. I was really excited when Rosie went off looking for the monster. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I love the bit when she followed the footprints up the mountain. Oh, and that ending was so happy. Well, um, enough of endings. It's time to begin. Hoob news! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Tootledeal, how can we tell a story? A 
dripping yarn A tale from long ago We want to for my great Hoopapedia. We're ready, Hubba Hubba. Then let's start at the very beginning. Hoopo Doop Whoop! To all you hoobs out there, welcome to Hoop News, the new show for hoobs everywhere. I'm Ivor. I'm Tula. And I'm Groove. And today we've been asking the question... How can Tula write a story? Once upon a time, there was a hoob called Tula. <laughs> she wanted to write a story, but she didn't know how to start. The hoobs discovered that Tiddly Peep books have lots of hoobly groobly characters in them. So Tula made up a character of her own called Rosie. <laughs> the Tiddly Peeps helped to decide that Rosie lived in a village by a mountain. But Tula didn't know what happened in the story. Roma's report showed her that good stories had exciting things happen in them. And the Tiddy Peeps showed Tula how to use her imagination to come up with a really exciting idea. And she finished her story in no time at all. It was the most hooby groovy story ever. <laughs> Even if it didn't have any cheese sandwiches in it. Really? And so the story was finished and the three little hoobs lived happily ever after. Oh, that was Hoobble Doobble Dooper Hoobs. I think I'm going to write a story myself now. Oh, do send it to us, Hubba Hubba. We'd love to read it. I will. So it's thanks once again to Iva, Tula, Groove and Roma for giving Hoobs everywhere a little peep into the world of peeps. So get out those pencils, Hoobs, and start writing. Hoobble Toodle Doo! Hoobo Toodle Doo! Write another story, Tula. Go on. Yeah, and this time, write it about cheese sandwiches. OK. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a greedy hoob called Groove. That's a terrible beginning. I like it. And a bossy little hoob called Ivor. <laughs> I don't like it so much now. Oh, only teasing. <laughs> And roam us somewhere far away The motorettes are singing We keep the engine spinning Hoop, hoop, hooray! The hoop is coming your way Oh, here we come! 